Welcome to the webinar. Are your documents secure? Are you sure? How to strengthen security and compliance. My name is Robin Horner and I'll host this DocuWare session. First of all, in the GoToWebinar control panel, there's a handout on community title and escrow, a large insurance company to learn a little bit more about how they're using DocuWare in their organization. Everybody's being muted to the volume of people on the call, so if you have any questions, please type them into the GoToWebinar question box, and we'll answer them at the end of the session during the, the Q&A session. Today's agenda is going to cover the persistent problem of paper, digital workflow for humans, becoming an agile leader, how DocuWare can help. Then we're going to go into a live product presentation which will cover a simple HR applic onboarding application where we'll be using multiple users to go through a process and show you how DocuWare can help you maintain the security of your documents. Then we're going to wrap it up with open question and answers that you can type into the GoToWebinar question box. But first of all, I want to take a poll to find out how do you store your business information right now? So I'm going to give you a minute to select your choice of how you store your business information currently. Okay, thank you for taking the time for that poll. I'm going to share the results with you. As you can see, the majority of you are interested, are um, mostly store paper, but slowly moving to digital um, files in the cloud. Uh, mostly, did second is uh, mostly digital in the cloud, less important information on paper, and then the last one is all of it stored on paper. So we're going to show you how you can, especially in the HR department, which is very secure, how you can store all these documents digitally in DocuWare. So let's get started. Paper is everywhere. Files and information are all, all over the network and, lo and local PCs, in different applications in different formats. It's annoying. It's a risk. It's messy and unorganized. It's time consuming to file and retrieve. These are the results from a couple of studies that were done. Each lost paper document cost approximately $700 and $125 for a simple misfiled document. And 70% of today's businesses would experience a total failure from a catastrophic paper loss. So question, are your enterprise printers secure? It was found that 98% are unsecure and open to hacking. So we solved paper over the past few years, kind of. The world is increasingly, but not completely digital. But there are, st but we're still left with documents, and documents aren't really the problem. They're just containers, packages for information. These tools are very valuable. But they perpetuate the basic problem. Stuff gets shuffled and then left in a stack, even if that stack is digital. There's PDF documents, Word documents, spreadsheets, email, health records, forms, applications, and a hundred other things swirl through our business processes. And this gets to the heat of the problem. The real pain of modern business is not documents. The real pain is manual processes. Manual processes are, <clears throat> are, by definition, not optimized for what a business needs. They're slow, prone to error, cause bottlenecks, remain nearly impossible to analyze, 
so exceptionally difficult to improve. We've spent years and untold amounts of money digitizing information. How do we take advantage of that? How do we get past the manual labor-intensive shuffle? How do we drive intelligence and real efficiency in our business? The answer is simple. Secure digital workflow and automation. More specifically, it's optimizing a business process using modern technology, such as intelligent indexing, mobile capture, and access. Always on cloud access, ultra tight security profiles. But how do we get there? And what are the benefits achieved along the journey? Let's take a step back and examine the journey to become a digital business. We'll examine each phase and highlight the significant business benefits that come with each step forward. Let's take a look at the journey of a digital automation from manual laggard to agile leader. The manual laggards are still using paper, but as they become more progressive, they realize the hard cost savings of digitized documents. They then see the advantages of managing documents with intelligent indexing and searching which improves compliance and customer service, and that being paper is a viable model. With configurable workflow, time efficiency, insight to improve, an agile leader experiences process automation and touchless workflow and will achieve an optimal knowledge working ratio. Bottom line dollars are reinvested in top line growth and happier staff. When you start as a manual laggard, you move through digital progressive to become an agile leader. This is the goal of the modern business. Heck, even here at DocuWare, we're getting better at this all the time. So what is the secret? Well, I can tell you in our experience, it is definitely not a stack of complex technology. It's not a three-year roadmap. It's not even a heap of a new budget. Becoming a digital first agile leader means simply putting the user first. Digital workflow and automation are near useless when the tools are complex and slow processes down. We found that the smartest digital processes meet full potential when they embrace six key qualities. Fast for maximum time saving, effortless to minimize distractions, secure so people don't worry about leaks, reliable so it can be trusted in times of high pressure, repeatable for consistent value, and flexible so it can be further optimized. Combine that with always on cloud access and full mobile complement, and you can move forward on your journey to become an agile leader. Today and in the future, agility translates to competitive edge. And don't take my word for it. Here's Jeff Bezos, founder of Amazon.com. In today's era of volatility, there is no other way but to reinvent. The only sustainable advantage you can have over others is agility. That's it. So how does DocuWare help you become an agile leader? First of all, DocuWare is designed for real businesses. It has instant retrieval configurable workflows to drive results, mobile access for remote staff. It supports business processes without complexity. It's easy to use, allowing greater productivity and accuracy. Today, we're going to show you just a glimpse of the many uses for DocuWare. But first, here are some of the companies using DocuWare. And as you can see, they are all in different industries and different sizes. So whether you're a small business, our huge international cooperation, DocuWare can be used by any size company. Now, before we start our live presentation with DocuWare, if you have to find all the information about a customer, a project, or transaction, this can be done with a single search and just a few clicks of the mouse. This is an example of what you would be doing by searching for the project number. You can easily find the request email, the proposal, the order from the customer, and the invoice that was sent out. And not just you, all your colleagues can too 
provided they have been given the authorization to do so. In addition to the ease of storage and search, DocuWare's cloud management solution provides the next step for your critical information, security and compliance. With DocuWare, you can, e you can readily shield your information from internal or external threats, relieve the stress of audit preparations, and ensure your regulated data complies with national laws. So now, as I start the live presentation, we're going to show you how DocuWare can help you manage all of your documents, not just paper, but email, Word documents, drawings, and accounting records. So let's go into the live presentation, and I'll show you how DocuWare can work in a typical HR onboarding application and show you how the DocuWare helps you keep your documents secure. So first of all, we're going to be working with three different users. We're going to be working with Simon Stone, who is the HR manager. We're going to be working with the applicant, <clears throat> which is um, Peter Strom. And then we're also going to be working with the sales manager, who is Fred Winner. We're going to start off in Simon Stone's workspace here. What we're looking at right now is the DocuWare interface. The DocuWare interface has a document tray on the left where when you bring documents into the document tray, and you can do that by dragging and dropping from your computer, you can scan them in using the desktop scanner, and you can also use a multifunction device or a copier. Once the documents are in the tray, you can then open them up in the DocuWare viewer simply by double clicking on them, and they will open up in the viewer. In the viewer, you have various tools to work with these documents before you store them in the file cabinet, making them available to your other colleagues. You have the ability to print, email a document. You can ch change the display of the document, add stamps for different functions, and then you can put notes or annotations on it. So we can type a note. We can do a redaction if we wanted to. Let's just take and redact all this information. And you can use any color for your redaction. I like to use white so that you can't see that there was a redaction there. And once you're done, you can either save it, or if I don't want to save it, I can simply send it out with those annotations um, so the people that are receiving it cannot see what's underneath those annotations or see your notes. I'm going to go ahead and close this down. I'm not going to save the annotations. Now, Let's say, for example, all three, all five of these documents came in from different sources, but they all pertain to the same transaction. We can select them in the order that we want. We can right mouse click and clip them together. So now we have one document that will be stored in our filing cabinet. So to do that, we simply click on our store dialog for our file cabinet. And we're going to store this in our document pool. Now, DocuWare has numerous ways of automating the indexing, but if you have to do it manually, you simply highlight the information on the document, and DocuWare will use that to index the documents. Now, these index fields can be configured any way you want, and you can have an unlimited number of fields, but most people try to keep it very simple. Um, we also have the ability to use a select list, and you can force your people to use only entries in the select list. So, for example, with a document type, you're maintaining consistency on what that type of document is called. If we come down to a date field, we can hit the X key on our keyboard to put in the current system date. You can use your minus key to go back or your plus key to go forward. And, of course, you can always use the handy calendar picker and select the day, month, and year, or simply click on today. Now, once you have all of the index information for this document, you can simply click on store. The document is now stored and available to anybody that has the security rights to view that document. Now, if you want to find that document, you simply go up here to your search start typing the name of the company if you know what it is if you don't you can simply hit the drop down and it'll give you a list of everything in that filing cabinet start typing the name we can put in the date so we only see the document for this particular date and we can also select the document type and we click on search 
and there is our document. We have two of them there. This is the one we just stored. So we'll go in and store that document or retrieve that document and view it. Now, we have it in our viewer. We want to see the additional pages so we can see that there's five different documents here. So the first one is a PDF. This is an Excel file. This is a simple text file, a JPEG, and finally, a Word document. DocuR can store any type of file that is generated in Windows, and we can view in our viewer over 250 different types of files, and you can also use the program that's associated with that file to view it if DocuR cannot view it. So I'm going to go ahead and close this down, and we're going to start a HR process, and we're going to go into the email of our HR director, Simon Stone. Here, Simon has received an email from an applicant applying for a job. He wants to go ahead and store this email in DocuWare, so he simply right mouse clicks, clicks on employees. That document is now going to be stored after he adds some additional index information. So first of all, he wants to select the department that the employee is applying for, which is sales. And he's going to put in his name and his first name. So there we go. He's going to go ahead and store that. Now, just by storing that email in DocuWare, that has entered a workflow which goes directly to the HR manager, Simon Stone, where he has to make a decision as to whether they want to invite this person for an interview. But before he makes that decision, he wants to send it to the sales manager to see if the sales manager is interested in it. So he simply right mouse clicks, he clicks on send request. He's going to select the user that he wants to send it to, and we're going to send it to Fred Winner, who is the sales manager and he's going to put in a subject um, applicant for interview and he's going to just put in the note here fred do you want to interview this applicant and the, Fred has two choices when he receives it to either approve or reject. And we're going to put a stamp on the document. So he's going to send that request. So he's sending it off to Fred. So he's going to wait before he makes his decision. But let's go over to Fred and see what has happened in Fred's workstation here. So over at Fred's workstation, he has received an email. So let's go ahead and do a send and receive to get that in there. And there's the email for that send request. And in here is, Fred, do you want to interview this applicant? So Fred can click on this link in the email, and it will go right into DocuWare and show him that request, and he can actually open up the document and take a look at it. So here's the document. He can read the email that was sent, and then he can also look at the attached resume. So here's the resume. Give it a second here. There's the resume. He can say, yeah, okay, I want to invite this guy. I want to have him invited in for an interview. So I'm going to click on approve. And I, he's going to say, please have him come in today. Click on confirm. So right now, Fred is done with everything that he has to do. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that email. And we're going to go back over and see what's happened over at Simon Stone's workstation as the HR manager. See what that request did for him. So he goes up here and he clicks on send request. He sees the comment. It says, comment, please have him come in today. Good. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to clear my task so I don't have to worry about it. But then I'm going to go back to my workflow and I'm going to say, yes. We want this guy to come in. So we're going to say we want him to come in today, and we're going to confirm. Now, what's happened is an email is being sent out. Also, this is going into another workflow to determine whether they want to hire it. So let's go 
over to the personal email of the applicant. We'll go over here to, to um, Peter Strom. And in Peter's email, he's received, yep, here's an email for him. Say, yeah, come in today at five o'clock. Good, I'll be there. So he responds, he says, I'll be there. So let's go back over to um, our HR manager, Simon Stone. Him and Fred get together. They have the interview with the guy. They make a decision that they want to hire him. So they're going to click on confirm. Now, what that's done is it has sent out an email to the applicant and also to Simon Stone telling him, hey, you've accepted this guy's offer. Now you have to send him a offer letter. So he clicks on this link. He opens the form where he fills in the applicant's name. his email address, job title, the department, his annual salary is going to be 75,000, high paid employee. Uh, his start date is going to be the 26th. His manager is going to be Mr. Winner, and the pay period is going to be bi monthly. And the first pay period is going to be on the 30th. So he's done. He clicks on submit. So, what that has done, and I'm going to switch over to the applicant, is it has sent an email to our applicant. Here in his email, he gets this acceptance letter. He said, please sign this and return it. So he opens it up, takes a look at it, and sees that all that information was filled in. So he has all the information. He knows exactly what he's going to get paid, when he's supposed to be, when he's supposed to start, and when his first paycheck will be appeared. So he's going to go ahead and scan that document. So let's go ahead and click on our scanner. And he's going to scan to email. It's going to start scanning. Documents being scanned, it's automatically being put into an email that he can go ahead and send back to the HR manager. So he's just going to put in um, Simon Stone. And send it. So now let's go back to our HR manager. He's been gone off doing other things, and all of a sudden he gets an email with this document returned. So let's open up his email. Oops. And here is his signed letter. He reviews it, makes sure that it is, in fact, signed. It is. He's going to go ahead and store that in his personnel file, employees. He just enters the Department of Sales, Strom, Peter, and he stores it. And then he goes back into his workflow and says, yeah, okay, I have received that. I can then go ahead and click on Form Returned Complete. And he confirms that. And it's done. So now that the form is returned, he has triggered another email to the, the recipient or to the applicant saying, hey, okay, here's your, you've assigned it. Good. We, we appreciate that. Now we need you to fill out an additional form for the onboarding process. So he sends him an email automatically. He clicks, Peter Strom clicks on this document. Logs in. You could log in as a guest. Um, 
and he has a form to fill out. The form is he has to put his name, his date of birth, social security number, his address, his home phone number, his email, his gender, whoops, he's male, and whether he's a citizen or not, and he signs it and submits. So the document is submitted. Now, if we go back to uh, Peter Strom, or Simon Stone, that document should be in there with I-9 information that he can go ahead and check. Hopefully it went in, there was an error there. Uh, so he didn't get the, the but what happens is the uh, I-9 is filled out completely. It gets submitted into the uh, file cabinet and he has, uh, they can then verify that the I-9 is complete and then the person can go ahead and start. So what I'd like to do now is take another poll to find out what are, would you be interested in seeing a personal demo of these DocuWare features? And I'll just give you a choice to select, and I'll go ahead and launch that poll. Okay. Okay, so I see that the majority of you are interested in seeing a, a demo. Um, Timestamp and audit trails, data compliance, setting up digital workflows, and intelligent indexing. Somebody from DocuWare or the partner that referred you to will be scheduling times for you to see this more in more detail based on your specific needs. So let's go ahead and finish up our PowerPoint here and go into the question and answer. So let's recap what we've covered. DocuWare will improve business processes by making them transparent to your users, increase employee efficiency, and keep your information secure with the benefit of removing paper, securing your information with faster accessibility to authorized employees, digital, key, digitizing key workflows to eliminate bottlenecks in business processes, and strengthening security and supporting compliance of your business critical information. We have found that even within one company or organization, the field of application is very broad. It often starts out in the accounts department, in sales, are in human resources, but it also has many uses in the more technical areas of a business. Once DocuWare has been introduced into one department, it soon spreads to other departments until the whole company is using it. And this is just an overview of how other companies are using document management. DocuWare is proud of the over 16,000 companies using our product to help them be an agile leader. Being available in 16 languages, DocuWare is extremely friendly for any company in the more than 70 different countries where it is used. Now, I'll give you a moment to type in any questions 
that come to mind in the GoToWebinar question box, and also to read about how DocuWare is being used at Community Title and Escrow, don't forget to download the DocuWare case study.